Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, here's my next behind the scenes. Today we're gonna look at the return. Uh, this is a pretty old AMV of mine, but um, I think there's a lot of things in here that I could teach you guys. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at that. Okay, cool. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is go into Vegas and I'm gonna tell you guys there's a lot of secrets in this video that make it look better than it actually is. Um, if we go to this scene right here, it looks like we have a mask, but that's actually just chroma key. Uh, the characters were in the sky at that moment, and I keyed out the blue. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. And I have been getting a lot of questions about these hexagons. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick look into how I did that, but I'm not going to show you exactly how to do it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to look at is the chroma key. So First, pick a scene that you can find like a lot of blue or green in. Um, I found this one, and this is actually pretty good. The characters come in from the side, so it looks like a transition. Uh, the blue is very clear and easy to key out. You definitely do not want to use Sony Vegas's color keying. It's pretty picky, and it comes out pretty unclear and fuzzy. So I, what I did was I rendered this out, and I put it into After Effects. And this is where all the magic is going to happen. So you're just going to go to Effect, Keying, and you definitely do not want to use Color Key. You want to use Key Light 1.2, or whatever version you have. Um, this is probably like the greatest chroma keying you could ever find. Just pick out the sky, uh, drop the balance down back to zero to preserve it. Perfect Color Key. Um, next thing you want to do is go to Screen Mat, and the white areas are the areas you're keeping, and the black areas are what you're getting rid of. The gray areas are going to be transparent, which means our chroma key isn't as perfect as it should be. So what you could do is clip the white down. So if we look at the final result, we have a very nice color key. Uh, when you render this out and you want to put it back into Vegas, um, when you make your movie, do not forget to go to the output module and click RGB plus alpha. Otherwise, you're just going to get all the black, which is pretty annoying. When you do go into Vegas, however, and you drop your track on, um, it's going to look like this. It's still going to have the black. So just right-click, go to Media, change the alpha channel to straight unmatted, and you're good to go. So now you have an awesome transition for whatever effects you have to follow. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for how I did this scene in the beginning right here. Uh, no big deal. And then the, um, the hexagons. All right, so... Here you go guys, quick behind the scenes look at the hexagons. What do we have? We have a camera and a null object, which means we're flying through 3D space. We also have a ton of masks, one for each hexagon. We also have an adjustment layer for all the shakiness and color effects. And then uh, if we play this back, we can see how the camera follows the hexagons. And that's pretty much all there is to that effect. It's really not as hard as you guys think. Um, so that's that for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck and uh, have fun with it. Getting jiggy with it.